we're going to write the equation of an exponential function given two points. So the two points I'm going to start with are the point 0, 3 and the point 324. Now if we do a quick check on this and plot the points, we know that 0, 3 is about here and 324 would be somewhere in this area. So we can see that these two points should create the equation of an exponential growth function with a b value greater than 1 because that's what it takes for it to be growth. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our two points and we're going to insert them into the exponential form y equals a b to the x and we're going to solve for a and b. So if we take the point 0, 3 that would give us 3 is equal to a times b to the 0 power and the point 324 would give us the equation 24 is equal to a b cubed. Now if we look at the first equation, we know that anything to the 0 power is equal to 1. So in solving this equation, we can see that our a value is equal to 3. What we're going to do now is we're going to take this a value and we're going to substitute it in for a in the second equation and solve for b. So 24 is equal to a, which is equal to 3, times b cubed. Divide both sides by 3. 24 divided by 3 is 8. 8 is equal to b cubed. We can now take the cube root of both sides and we get a b value of 2. And now we have a as 3, b as 2. We know our equation will be y equals 3 times 2 to the x, an exponential growth function. Now you should try this, pause the video, and see if you can write the exponential function given the two points 0, 16, and 2, 1. When you've finished, continue playing the video to see what happens when you have to write an exponential equation and you're not given the y-intercept. Now let's try and write the exponential equation if we're not given the y-intercept. So let's say we have the point 220 and a second point of 480. We begin the same way by inserting the x's and y's into our exponential framework. So 20 is equal to a b squared. And we also know that 80 will equal a b to the fourth. Now the simplest way to do this is to solve each of these equations for a. So I'm going to divide by b squared. And 20 over b squared is equal to a. And on the second equation, I will divide by b to the fourth. And that will tell me that 80 over b to the fourth is equal to a. And what I can now do is set these two equations equal to each other. 20 over b squared will equal 80 over b to the fourth, because they're both equal to, each a, to a, so they have to be equal to each other. And I'm going to cross multiply and solve for b. So 20 b to the fourth will equal 80 b squared. I can again divide both sides by b squared. And this will give me 20 b to the fourth divided by b squared is b squared is equal to 80. Divide both sides by 20. And b squared will equal 4. Take the square root of both sides and b is equal to 2. Now I have my b value. I can go back up to where I had solved for a, substitute the b value in, since we know that b is equal to 2, and solve for a. 20 over 2 squared, which is going to be 20 over 4. And so we pick up an a value of 5. And now I have an a value of 5 a b value of 2, so my equation will be y equals 5 times 2 to the x. Here are two more points. See if you can write the equation given two points when you don't know the b value. Good luck!